Problem number 10. Find the pattern and complete below sequences. We have a total of seven sequences here. Some of them are really easy. I'm going to leave to the students. We'll do an example. For example, the first one. We can see that the first two numbers, you add them up, you get the second one. And then you add the second and third, you get the fourth one, and so on. And for sequence number three, these are the perfect square numbers, right? Two squares, three squares, four squares, and so on. Then you fill in the last two numbers. And one of the sequence that's quite difficult here is this one. So these, the first three numbers looks like perfect square numbers. But then starting from the fourth one, that's the square number is larger than 10, the singles and tens place flip. So instead of 16, which is four square, and it flipped the singles to the tens and the tens to the singles. Therefore, it's a 61. And the fifth one should be five square, which is 25, now is 52. It's reverse, singles and tens place swapped. And this problem, as an example, if you do one, three, five, seven, nine, the odd number positions is the odd number sequences, including the 11. And if you look at the even numbers, even number positions, that's two, four, eight, 16, and 32. So the pattern is interlaced. I'll let the student to finish um, the other two sequences.